Hello traders, let's break down GBP and ZD and start from the weekly time frame. So as you can see from the top of the structure around here, we have the market pushing to the downside from this area and then we have this continuation flag here. We started pushing down and then now we are in this corrective phase here. So normally we are looking for those continuations to the downside just because the market is still selling. So we are just going to follow the overall order flow in this case so that we can get like those nice selling opportunities. So we have the top of the structure of which it's this one here. And we have the low of the structure of which it's this one here. So let me make sure that I have plotted my lines correctly. And as you can see, we are in this nice ascending channel. Ascending channel at the top of the structure, we have two touches. And normally we expect three touches. So which means we can expect the market to push to the upside and get those uh, third touches at the top of the structure. Is because we have this one here and we also have this one and normally we can expect the third touch for us to look for those nice selling opportunities and another scenario is this one here whereby we can get that mass psychology activation but like in this case the market failed to reach the top of the structure to create that so that we can look for sales what it had done is that we have created that psychological level around this point as you can see the market pushed to the upside around here and then sold off and another thing that convinces me that we can look for selling opportunities around here on the lower time frame is that the market was correcting around here we were just correcting to the upside up until we broke the ascending channel that is when the momentum kicked in as you can see the candles were a bit larger than these ones that were pushing to the upside so we can create an ascending channel just like that and don't forget the middle section on the day on the weekly time frame it can be useful so that you can uh, see where the markets are going so we have the middle section right there and the market respected this middle section very nicely whereby if we push to the upside try to feel the overall third touch like i said here but we failed we stopped around this point so this is the area that we're going to look for those nice sales on the lower time frame guys now so let's switch to the four daily time frame and before we switch to the daily what i'll do is that i'll draw a box around here just to indicate that we are looking for the third touch if it presents itself so let's look at the daily time frame so as you can see on the daily you can get to refine a few things that were not uh, refined around here just to make sure that you're catering for the touches correctly and the middle sections or the patterns within patterns around here as you can see we had the ascending channel within and ascending channel very nicely drawn out and what i'll do is that i'll just remove this rail line here just because it's no longer in use i already know that we had that uh, psychological level being broken through and i'll draw just a line here so that we can just see or track the the, the price action guys ne? and around this area that is where we created like some type of a double top formation and we had this pattern going on and what i'll do is that i'll just refine everything to the current market structure of which it's this one here we have two touches at the top as you can see we created like some type of an ascending channel just like this and i'll make sure that it makes sense guys man. just because it has to make sense so that you can take trades so as you can see we have two touches at the top this one here and this one here then we expect that that touch to initially look for those nice selling opportunities and not forgetting that the market can just gravitate to the upside in this type of fashion to reach the overall double top formation here and the reason why we create like this type of double top so that we can look for sales at the top here is because the market if the market fails to feel like uh, third touches like the outer structure third touch what it will do is that it will create some type of a large m pattern that it's creating right now it's like this then that is when you can look for nice selling opportunities on GBP and ZD. So we can just look at the for our time frame and see if we if we're not missing anything so that we can look for our nice entries for the coming week, guys. Man. And if you want to join the free group, you can just use the links in the description below. The brokers that I use, everything that is used is in the description below. So as you can see here on the four hour, that is when we got to refine everything, the middle section obviously. Just to see that the market is pushing to the upside guys now to complete the overall third touch 
just because that is where we are going to look for those nice selling opportunities so initially this would be the forecast that i am looking for and this would be our line to track the overall price action if it will reach the overall third touch just like this and when the market reaches the top of the structure that is when we look for those nice selling opportunities and i'll just leave another line here and yeah this is the overall setup that i have on gbt and for d so let me just do this and this is the third touch here for ourselves knowing that the market can just come and create that big and pattern that we talked about so yeah that is it for today's video and i'll see you on another one